Remedies for Emotional and Hyperactive Children. Hi, this is Jovanka from JovankaCRS.com and today I have a really important, rather serious, but also a very poignant topic and it is about herbal remedies and herbs for children and adults truly with uh, hyperactivity, hypersensitivity, attention deficit disorder, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, and all of the other ones that I can't even pronounce. The truth of the matter is that about 6 million children are diagnosed with ADD or ADHD in the United States alone. And I am not talking about the rest of the world. So you can imagine how many children are walking around this earth, highly medicated, but without us addressing the underlying causes of this particular situation. And while it's extremely important that we look at the history of the uh, of the particular child or teenager or adult to know the underlying causes there are some herbs that you can use or at least you can research and start uh, understanding how they work a little bit more in hopes that perhaps they can help you so first things first as my doctor and teacher says, Dr. Low Dog, who is an amazing herbal medicine doctor, if you don't know her, you need to Google her. Uh, Dr. Low Dog always says that any kind of issues that have to do with emotional um, things like this, like hyperactivity, ADD, ADHD, in, in a lot of the cases, they stem from issues of the gut, issues of immunity, issues of um, just a digestive tract or a digestive system that is not working properly. Perhaps these children uh, are missing probiotics. Perhaps their diets are poor. Perhaps their uh, their uh, completely la lack of sleep is an issue. Uh, uh, maybe the environment in the home is another problem. So we have to look at things on a holistic level. As an herbalist, it's really hard for me to actually give you specifics on uh, a particular uh, concern without seeing the entire picture. But but I also know that there's a lot of these herbs that are well studied and well uh, determined to be very safe and very effective at helping people with a lot of anxiety and hyperactivity. So I wanted to mention them here and here they are. Magnesium. Magnesium is a mineral that's super important in overall health. Most of us are a little low in magnesium and low levels of magnesium can cause irritability, short attention span, and even confusion. So a real normal supplement could be really helpful for hyperactive children. Ginkgo biloba. This is an herb known to help a memory boost and improving the ability to focus. It can also lower anxiety and help with depression. Ginseng, this is another one that you may be familiar with. It helps increase memory, concentration, alertness, all of which can help someone diagnosed with ADHD. Go to cola. This is one that helps with depression while improving memory. It is also very good at alleviating restlessness that's common with people with ADHD or hyperactive kids. It also can combat short attention span, anxiety, and depression. Chamomile. I love chamomile. It is one of the safest, most commonly used herbs, especially for children. It's a natural relaxant. It's really gentle and it's really great for your digestion, which will help you also produce the right kind of hormones that will help you control hyperactivity. Valerian root. This is also a very effective sedative and sleep aid, but it's not habit forming. Children need up to 10 hours of sleep. So an adequate sleep time is helpful in lessening the symptoms of ADHD and valerian root can be really, really effective in treating insomnia. Catnip, you know catnip as the one that your kitty loves, but it's also a great relaxant and sleep aid and it helps a lot with hyperactivity. It is safe for children and can lessen anxiety, nervousness, and insomnia. 
lemon balm. This is a super sweet, very gentle herb. It's antiviral, it's antibacterial. It helps with symptoms of hyperactivity and impulsivity in both adults and children. And finally, wild oats or avena, as we say in Spanish, is really, really helpful to reduce stress and anxiety, lessening behavioral symptoms of ADHD and hyperactivity. So those are the ones that I wanted to bring to your attention. It is super important that as an adult, as a responsible adult, you check with your doctor to make sure that especially if you're already under medication or your child is under medication, that you uh, talk to your doctor and make sure that these herbs are safe, especially in combination with the prescription drugs that you're already taking. But it's also important to note that they alone can be very safe and effective, but in combination, they're even better. So talk to a, a herbalist, talk to a naturopathic doctor, find out how you can combine them and use them for your specific condition and situation and see if they help. In my experience, they have helped tons of people and I'm sure they could be really, really effective for you as well. I hope this helps. Make sure that you share your comments and suggestions by leaving a comment below. Make sure that you also share this video with all of your friends all over the internet and that you subscribe for more tips and a jolt of motivation for your healthy, sexy, happy, beautiful life. See you soon.